Hey, my name is Michael Luciano. I'm station manager for Delta Airlines in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, something that I remember very interesting about uh, after the Hurricane Maria was when I got to the airport and I'm talking to my my boss on the cell phone, on the satellite phone, and she asked me, can you recover the operation? And I told her, I, I really don't know where my people are. And I'm concerned about their safety and the security. And all of a sudden, I was standing right in front of the ticket counter when two employees in full uniform arrived, and I told my boss, boss, I have a team. We can recover the operation. Uh, the other, uh, the other very relevant moment that I remember from that was that after we gathered a team, uh, we we start looking for what type of technology was available. And one of the employees I remember was Marcos. Told me, Michael, nothing works. And I say, guys, you need to go back and let, you need to see what works. And, and actually, it was Marcos and Tomas who came back to me, and they said, "We have a little signal from a MiFi." And with that, we went over to the top of the parking lot at the Luis Muñoz Marin Airport, and we established a, a check-in counter. And that was something amazing because uh, we were the first one to start checking customers. My name is Marcos Rivera. I'm the senior passenger service agent at the uh, San uh, Luis Muñoz Marin International Airport. I can actually uh, talk about the uh, process of checking in passengers on the first humanitarian flight that we had departing from San Juan, which we had to actually check in passengers uh, on portable units that we have in uh, the airport uh, because of the communication problems that the island was actually facing. Uh, with uh, internet coverage. We were using portable uh, MiFi units, uh, which uh, were very useful for us during that time. Uh, we actually had to go to a, a specific area in the uh, airport uh, parking lot on the sixth floor where we, we could actually have coverage for the uh, MiFi units. Um, it, was, it was very challenging. But at the same time, it was very rewarding. Um, we were actually able to check in a whole flight doing uh, what we normally do on a counter uh, with all the facilities. We were able to actually do that in the parking lot of the uh, airport with two portable units and a lot of help from coworkers that were actually come into the parking lot and picking up tickets and boarding cards and uh, back tags for passengers and bringing them from the parking lot to the, to the ticket counter where the passengers were, were actually waiting for them. Um, other than that, I can, I, I can also talk about the amount of people that post Hurricane uh, Maria were leaving the island. I had, in my experience, I've been working at the airport in, in San Juan here for almost 30 years and I had not seen uh, a percentage of people that had actually taken flight uh, leaving the island. Uh, there were a lot of passengers that were first time flyers, not the regular passenger that you see on a daily basis that are uh, accustomed to actually travel a lot and go through the process of checking in, going through security, packing a bag. Uh, some of them were actually taking stuff that it was precious to them, uh, sentimental stuff, uh, uh, things that had sentimental value for them, uh, sometimes even things that they could actually not take with them. And I seen at the airport people trying to get rid of things that were valuable to them, that had sentimental value, actually did touch my heart. Uh, I have 115 co-workers that uh, I value a lot. Uh, most of us were working under uh, uh, heart conditions. Some of us were actually facing problems at home because uh, just like the rest of the island, uh, the people on the island were having problems, some of us were facing problems as well at home. And uh, 
I value that a lot. I am actually taking in in my mind and in my heart the uh, passion that most of us were actually putting into work during those difficult days and uh, seeing and and being touched by by the people that were actually taking care of at the airport. Uh, it was. It was hard. It was hard times, uh, but at the same times, uh, at the same time, it was actually very rewarding. Uh, trying to help uh, people that were actually in need. Hi, I'm Agustin Duran. I'm general manager for Central America and the Caribbean. I've been with Alta for the last three years. Uh, two years and a half working in Argentina as sales manager, uh, and I've started in this new role in September this year. Uh, just at the same time uh, as the hurricane start uh, appearing here in the region. So it's been a, it's been a really uh, challenging times. For me, uh, it was amazing to see um, how the Delta family responds, uh, taking care of the employees, taking care of our customers, and working uh, shoulder to shoulder with uh, uh, Puerto Rico and uh, I mean with the Caribbean authorities, try to rebuild and, and, and help in whatever we can, uh, wherever we could at the time, uh, putting additional flight, humanitarian flights, trying to carry supplies, uh, and. and, and um, Building or, or, or working with with our partners uh, in, in U.S. and in the region, trying to understand what are the necessities or the needs that every island need. Uh, in the case of Puerto Rico, and try to uh, help the authorities to rebuild the airport as quickly as possible. In, uh, understanding that this is an island and and the uh, the, uh, the island is uh, uh, really really important. Um, I mean, uh, I was in Atlanta most of the time, but you, you can feel uh, the excellent work that uh, all, all the Delta employees did. Um, and not only uh, Delta, but working together with other airlines, with the airport, with authorities, all together, um, trying to rebuild and help um, and take care of the customers as much as they can. So I think it's a good experience at the end. Of course, it has been challenged. Uh, or challenging situations and, and there's still a lot of things to do uh, but again I, I think that the way Delta cares uh, about uh, cares their employees um, and it's shown in this particular case for me it's amazing to see it's not common and I, I mean, it's something that we really have to um, take care and continue building this uh, Delta family. Hello, my name is Christian Hernandez. I'm the sales manager for Puerto Rico and U.S. Virgin Islands. Today, I would like to share with you a very special anecdote that I, uh, I had through uh, the Hurricane Maria as, as I helped and support the airport uh, with Delta Airlines. Uh, while uh, we opened up the airport, I helped uh, the uh, airport station manager with being a liaison between the government of Puerto Rico and the uh, ACS operations. Uh, and I had the opportunity uh, to bring my wife and my son to help our colleagues at the airport. Uh, it was a very nice experience because uh, I've been working for Delta Airlines for 24 years and uh, they, 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 they thought uh, that my work was uh, very easy and, 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 and they thought that working in the airline was, was, was something uh, extraordinary you know but uh, they, they had to go through it unfortunately for us uh, they had no air conditioning we had no water so the conditions were were, were not as good as we would expect uh, but I have to tell you that uh, it was very very good and, 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 and to see my family helping Delta because Delta helped us so much uh, they, they really uh, gave us uh, food, they gave us water, they gave us uh, power generators. Uh, Delta really supported us and it was nice that we, in, in, in exchange, we had this opportunity that my whole family could come to the airport and help us well. So I feel that it's, uh, it was very gratifying for me uh, and for them as well.